Hello my fellow Waddies, welcome to a new video. Now the sequel to the Mortal Kombat movie released in 2021 has been officially confirmed and the most important part about Mortal Kombat are the characters. So what should be done with them in the sequel? Well that's what this series is all about. We're going to be discussing how all of the characters that have been confirmed for the sequel should actually be handled in the movie. And the characters that start us off will be Cole Young, Raiden, Shang Tsung, and Liu Kang. So without further ado, let's head straight into the first character. <laughs> now, what should be done with this guy in Mortal Kombat 2? Kill him. Kill him dead. No, but seriously, they should kill him off. Like, honestly, no personal bias or anything. This is the best way to take the character. I know all of you are going to say that, oh, you just don't like Cole Young, that's why you want him to die. But no, like, this is the best way to take his character within the story of the next movie. Firstly, a lot of people do not like Cole Young, not just me. So if you do kill him off, that'll get a lot of people on board that weren't exactly a fan of the first movie. But the second and more important reason is the fact that this will build stakes within the tournament. It'll be a huge WTF moment if the main character from the first movie died within the tournament and it'll make people go, oh, this is serious. Like, this is a real problem we should worry about. And overall, it's just the perfect way to both build stakes while also getting rid of a character that people aren't too fond of. I feel so bad for Louis Tan because I've been trash talking him in this video and I trash talked him in the last video and his birthday was like just a few days ago. I swear, man, it's not you, it's the character. All right, I promise, you did absolutely nothing wrong. But with that being said, I'm gonna need you to leave. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about Cole Young. Moving on. Raiden. Now, unlike a lot of people, I really like Raiden from the first Mortal Kombat movie. But the problem with this character is the fact that for most of the movie, he's putting up an act. He's super stoic and exposition-y, and also he can be sort of unlikable at times, so he's basically what the general public think Raiden is. But we know that it's all just an act so that the main characters can get their arc... 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 I'm sorry, I can't say it. Drop that for the next movie, there's no reason for it to exist. Getting back to Raiden, we know this version of the character has a lot of personality and heart by the end of the movie where he zaps away Shang Tsung and then makes that little joke. He talks so much. He's charismatic, he makes jokes, and even earlier in the movie he made that one sarcastic comment. Thank you for helping my fight to find his arcana. But for the sequel, we need more of this. We need a full movie of Raiden being how he was in the ending scene. And I also really want to see Raiden fight. Like, we have never gotten a live action Mortal Kombat movie where Raiden actually, like, fights people. Isn't that weird? Now, of course, he shouldn't go around fighting in the tournament. <laughs> that would be dumb. But instead, show Raiden's abilities as a fighter in training sessions with Liu Kang. And this should also be your opportunity to have him be more of a mentor and have him show his wiseness. Also, don't just make him a punching guy who has lightning. No, have him use the actual staff. That would be really cool, even if it got destroyed in the first one. But yeah, Raiden and Liu Kang's character dynamic should be like one of the main focuses of the movie, if not the main focus. If you put a gun to my head, then I would say that these two are the most important characters in Mortal Kombat, so you really have to get their relationship right. But I'll talk about that a little more later. One last thing, Raiden is not an elder god. I don't know why the first movie said he was, but the second one needs to state that he is just a normal god. Okay? All right, that's all I need to talk about with Raiden. Again, unlike a lot of people, I really like Shang Tsung in Mortal Kombat 2021. I feel like a lot of people just want him to be Kerry Tagawa 2.0, but I feel like a new interpretation of the character would be better. Listen, Kerry Tagawa has kind of been everything Shang Tsung related in recent years. I mean, come on, he was in Mortal Kombat 1995, of course, then he was in Mortal Kombat Legacy Season 2, and then he's actually in the games, like, we can have a new interpretation and new actor playing the character. And I love how Shang Tsung is in the first movie. He has that big booming voice that just has such presence to it. Prince Goro, it is an honor to have Shokan blood on our side. Now we shall end this prophecy once and for all. Like seriously, he would make a really good announcer voice. But anyways, how should he be in Mortal Kombat 2? Well, first of all, 
he has to actually be the main villain this time. And second of all, I want more of those iconic menacing moments. One from the first movie that I can think of off the top of my head right now is the one where he dodges Kung Lao's hat. And that was just so cool. And then he was like, you are beneath me. And there's also a deleted scene with Molina that is definitely the most menacing he's ever been. Reptile is dead. And now another of Earthrealm's champions is on their way to the temple. We must move now. Your plan is not working. Are you questioning my judgment? I created you. I nourished you with nectar from souls. I gave you life. If you doubt my ways, what need do I have for you? <laughs> my plan will not fail. Even if I must take matters into my own hands. I forgive you. I don't know why this wasn't included in the movie. It might be the fact that there's just too many scenes of Shang Tsung stands around talking to character. So they decided to delete the best one. But anyways, I just need more of that stuff. Like, that really menacing evil stuff that makes you, like, hate him. Like, how cool would it be if Shang Tsung morphed into Kung Lao to taunt Liu Kang? That would just make you hate his guts. And plus, we get more Max Wong. You literally cannot lose with this. But yeah, really set up a good rivalry between him and Liu Kang, and do not kill him off. Whatever you do. The 1995 movie killed him off, Annihilation sucked, and it had a terrible villain. So, just don't do that. But yeah, moving on to the final and most important character. <laughs> Liu Kang needs to be the main character, and if he's not, this movie is doomed to fail. That's pretty much all I need to say. See ya. Okay, wait, 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 I'm joking, all right? But seriously, if he's not the main character, then that would actually be mind-blowing to me. Mind-blowingly awful. Whether you like it or not, Liu Kang is the main character of Mortal Kombat, and he deserves to be represented on the big screen as the main character of Mortal Kombat. And if he's not the main character, then that's automatically a loss. But anyways, how did I feel about Liu Kang in the first one? Well, I thought he was decent. I feel like he was a bit too stoic and didn't have as much charisma or personality as I would have wanted, but Mortal Kombat 2 is the best way to redeem this aspect of the character. Now in the first one, fine, he was a Shaolin monk who are often very stoic anyways, so it doesn't really matter all that much. But in the second one, by this point, he's lost Kung Lao. This is the perfect opportunity to bring in more personality for the character and develop him more. Make him vengeful and full of rage, wanting to kill Shang Tsung for murdering his cousin and pretty much only friend. That should be what he is focused on the entire movie, just getting to and killing Shang Tsung. But of course, by the end, he's gonna learn the error of his ways and be like, no, I will not kill you Shang Tsung because I'm a Shaolin monk, and we don't do that. Besides the first one, where he threw a fire dragon at Cabal. Whatever, it's character development. Now, I want to make this clear, though. Don't make him unlikable. Don't make him just be a jerk to the other characters, like the first 1995 Mortal Kombat movie. No. I get it. Good. If 
if one of the characters says, hey, you shouldn't be trying to take revenge, Liu Kang, that's not the right way to do it. Liu Kang shouldn't just start yelling at them or something. He should be understanding, but in the end, I don't care. I'm going to kill this guy who killed my cousin. And then, of course, it should be Raiden who fully teaches him, hey, vengeance, no, you should not do that. You should let him live so that he can be in the sequel, and then we get more Shang Tsung. Win. Now the last thing that I want to talk about is the most important thing and something I've talked about on the channel before. You guys are probably getting sick of it by now, but I don't care. It's really important. Liu Kang needs to win the tournament. Anything else would be criminal. Go to jail. Life sentence. Death sentence. If you do not have Liu Kang win the tournament, then this is the worst Mortal Kombat movie of all time and everyone involved needs to... I don't know, I can't think of anything because I'm not a psychopath, but still. I swear, if I go into that theater and I see Cole Young defeating Shang Tsung, or God forbid if he's in the movie, Shao Kahn, then I'm just gonna... The next characters we'll be covering in the series are Sonya, Jax, and Johnny Cage. And if you want to be notified exactly when the video comes out, then you should definitely make sure that you're subscribed and have the bell set to all notifications. That way, when the video comes out, you'll know and you can watch it right then and there. And if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and give it a like so that more people will be able to see it. And that's it for this video, my fellow Waddities. I'll see you next time.